Uh, hi. I did not plan for this video that you are watching right now. We're gonna do a little bit of React Dandy content to spice things up a little bit. The punk rock band Leftover Crack has released a new song as of recording this 16 hours ago. So for those who don't know, Leftover Crack is a band with an interestingly long history that dates back to the 1990s, fronted by this gentleman by the name of Scott Sturgeon, Sta or Crack Daddy Kane, and he's been kind of like the ringleader of this band. He used to have a band called Choking Victim. Choking Victim also used to have some other members that were in Leftover Crack at the time. For a while, Leftover Crack has been considered to be critically acclaimed in underground punk circles, meaning your typical Joe Strummer wannabes from the 1950s aren't really going to be listening to this band. There's a few other things that really made Leftover Crack and, by extension, Choking Victim stand out from the rest. They were really singing about anarchism a lot of the time, especially prison and police abolition, which is a topic that I care about very deeply as a police and prison abolitionist myself. Not to mention, a lot of times their lyrics really spoke to home to a lot of very struggling people who were disenfranchised by the system that they were oppressed under, especially drug addicts in particular. This is to say that Sturgeon himself has experienced these things and he's using this as an outlet to express himself to other people on his experiences and to connect on a relatable level in terms of drug addiction. Now I don't want to glorify this band very much at all, because I myself was very, very, very influenced, musically speaking, by a lot of the bands that Sturgeon himself had participated in. Notice how I don't say Sturgeon's music, because while these are his projects, he didn't really make the music. He's just a shitty vocalist. If I had to describe Sturgeon's vocals, I would say he sounds like a constipated Eric Cartman if he was trying to front a punk band. Not to mention, there's been plenty of allegations coming at Sturgeon from several people, particularly those whom he's dated, that has stated that he himself is a very abusive person, which makes the choking victim moniker in very poor taste. So while I have a very strong affinity for the times that I grew up and listened to Sturgeon's bands, this does not mean that I am in any position to defend Sturgeon whatsoever. I don't want to. I live by the motto, kill your heroes, figuratively, metaphorically speaking. Because if your biggest influences, your role models are not living to the standards that you have grown to, you should hold them accountable. And this is to say that Sturgeon himself is the exact embodiment of everything that he claimed to be against. Now I'm just going to say right now, I'm not going to continue talking about this because I want to do a much further deep dive into Sturgeon. But what we are going to be doing today is we're going to be listening to a new song released by Leftover Crack, which I thought that wasn't going to be a thing anymore. I didn't think Leftover Crack was going to be making any more music, considering that Sturgeon's career is kind of in the toilet right now. Anyway, the name of the song in particular is Shoot Aside, which not necessarily in good taste. And now I realize as well that a lot of Sturgeon's music, especially back then, was very edgy, even going as far as to have an album cover and shirt design with this on it. Yeah, at least this is consistent with the edgy bullshit that Sturgeon is known for. Not like this is out of character for him. But it doesn't mean that his old propaganda ages well. But there's one other thing I want to point to here that will seem a little off-putting. And that is, who is the bass player for this song? Alec Bailey, the bass player who passed away several years ago. This means that Sturgeon took his deceased bandmate and decided to put his own bass playing on a song whom he could not have consented to, literally bastardizing Alec Bailey's legacy. And that's what we're going to be reacting to. 
the song called Shoot Aside. And no Sturgeon, you cannot copyright claim this video. I'm not going to be including your song in the video. I will be reacting to it which is protected under fair use. You sound like Jordan B. Peterson for crying out loud. What did you do to the fucking bass? Okay, I am 24 seconds into this song and so far it wants to be clear channel fuck off so badly. But the problem is, is that they basically almost midified the bass, which sounds really bad. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's just the fact that like the bass sounds really fucking shitty not in the playing but like there is clear like filters added to the bass not to mention the guitars they sound like both very 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 highly produced but it's trying to be crushed punk really badly it's almost like he has all of this very fancy equipment to make very crystal clear sounding music but he wants to go back to his anarcho roots and he's not achieving that. It sounds very artificial. It sounds manufactured, like as if Epitaph Records did the recording. At one point, there was some chanting going on with this song, and I don't know what was being said. It sounded like, ha, 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 ha. It sounded like that one level from Sonic 3 and Knuckles where they're at the base and it has like that Michael Jackson, like, cha, 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 cha. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. So Sturgeon started to sing. It's not like he's done anything new with this song. He has definitely recycled his old vocal style. He is pretty much like in a stagnation here. In the 30 years that he's been like active in the music scene, he has not evolved musically at all. He hasn't made his vocals any better. He hasn't tried anything new in terms of ambition here. The newest thing really is Alec Bailey's filter on his bass. And like I said, he is trying desperately to make this another clear channel fuck off, which is not even the greatest part of fuck world trade. Yeah, that was pretty bad, honestly. I hated that. I hated listening to that. I thought it was so low effort. It weirdly feels uninspired. I feel like what happened was that Sturgeon noticed that there was a rise of mass shootings happening in the United States, which there are, and he felt like it was necessary to meme on it just for the occasion. And like I said, this is not new for Sturgeon to make propaganda in this way, but this is what I mean. He's stagnant, and it shows that everything that he has done in the 90s and early 2000s has stayed that way. He has essentially remained in 2004 while it is currently 2024. So what I want to do instead is recommend to you to go check out No Time Records. I've done work with them in the past and no this is not a sponsored video. I am not under No Time Records anymore. But No Time Records is supporting the underground scene that is especially related to the crack rock steady music scene. Because Sturgeon's essentially made it in terms of music career, whereas No Time Records is supporting those who are up and coming, or those who have not exactly been recognized by corporate media at this point. They're the ones pressing the albums, they're the ones hosting the shows, they're the ones promoting new and upcoming bands, they're the ones who deserve your attention. Not leftover crack, not sturgeon, and not somebody who bastardizes their deceased bass player's bass playing, and not somebody who abuses people. I used to be in a band called Bible Boot Camp. We never played shows, but we recorded a few songs here and there. And I had both of my bandmates in Bible Boot Camp pass away through suicide and fentanyl overdose. But our music is on Bandcamp 
for free to listen to. I'm not monetizing that shit, nor should I. It would be disrespectful for me to do. Not to mention, that is what they wished for. They wished for our music to be free to listen to online for those who want to hear what we did. That is not what Sturgeon is doing. Sturgeon is ostensibly capitalizing and monetizing the bass playing of Alec Bailey. And that's not respectful to his deceased bandmate. I think it's time that Sturgeon remains irrelevant, similarly to Pantera. Delete your Instagram.